Okay. At first order reactions, first of all, I will write down the reaction here A plus B will produce products. What is the rate expression? Rate is equal to minus dA divided by dt. Okay. What is the rate law? Is equal k concentration of A and concentration of B, P and Q are the orders. If it is a first order reaction, first order reaction, the overall order will be 1. So, one of this P or Q will be 1, other one will be 0 to obtain overall order 1. Okay, you can understand that P plus Q should be 1 to obtain this overall order as first order. Here, we will consider A. If its con uh, order is 1, B will be, its order will be 0. I will write down this equation DA divided by dt equal k a its power or order will be 1 and order of b will be 0. I can simplify minus dA divided by dt equal k. Here uh, power of something uh, is 1 we have to keep as it is here, for example, 10 to the power 1 mean 10, okay, 10 to the power 0 mean 1, likewise, here, a to the power 1 mean a, b to the power 0 is 1, okay. Now, I simplified my equation, okay, but I want the integral form, integral form of this equation to obtain an integral form I said previously concentration terms only concentration terms should be in the left side of the equal mark and all the other terms should move on to the right side from the equal mark. So, I will rearrange the equation this dt will go to this side and this concentration term will come to this side. So, the a Here, this k and a as appear as a multiply, when it come on to the other side of the equal mark, it will be a division a equal k. Here, dt is appear as a division, when it goes to right side uh, from the left side, uh, uh, in between this uh, equal sign, it will be a multiply dt. Okay. Now, we can put uh, integral sign, integration, minus we can get out, okay, dA divided by A equal, here K is a constant, we cannot integrate or uh, remaining thing is dt. Here, I will introduce some special integral laws, they will be helpful to solve afterwards okay what is the first one 1 over something if they are given 1 over something to integrate us by dA we have to integrate A by dA the answer will be ln A here our denominator Denominator is our variable, we integrate this variable with respect to its variable dA by dA, so it will be the ln a. If we integrate 1 over x by dx, it will be ln x, that is the first thing, you have to remember that. The second thing.
if we integrate 1 by someone, the answer will be that thing x. If we integrate 1 by dA, answer will be A. If we integrate 1 by dy, answer will be y. Likewise, you have to remember that rule also. The final thing I wanted to say is that it is a log rule. You know about logarithms. According to log rules, if, if we can, uh, we can write down this ln a minus ln b, we can write, rewrite this as ln a divided by b. You can, you can remember that. If log a or log p minus log q will be log p divided by q. Likewise, those log rule also you have to remember. Okay. Now, now you can see we have to integrate a by dA. It is look like this. Here 1 over a integrated by dA. Same thing a and dA. So, answer is ln a. Here a is integrated by dA. So, here we will integrate from initial concentration to final concentration after some time. Here time is 0, here is time is t. After t time, concent final concentration will be a t. Okay. Now, we can integrate minus here integration mark and differential mark will be cancelled. We have to put all of them in the bracket, this kind of bracket. So, answer is integration form of 1 over a, here 1 over a no, 1 over a concentration is ln a. What is the limits? a naught to a. We have to put limits after these brackets. Equal k here also. Here 1, 1 is here. Integration of 1 with respect to some variable, we should keep the variable as the answer. Here 1 integrated by dx, answer will be x. Here 1 integrated by dt, the answer will be t, but we have to keep the limits 0 to t. Okay. Now we can simplify these equations. How we can simplify the limits? We have to deduct lower limits by upper limits. We have to deduct lower limits by upper limits. So, upper limits is here. This is the common equation minus ln a is common. We have to substitute a and a naught instead of this a here minus minus ln. We will substitute upper limits a again minus we will have to deduct what minus ln a naught. Okay, I will erase these upper things. Now, is equal here k, we have to substitute upper limits, upper limit is kt minus lower limits is kt, k naught. So, after simplifying, minus l n a here negative negative will be negative into negative mean it is positive l n a naught equal here k t minus k k into 0 is 0 here k t ok now we want equation uh, with respect to a so, we have to, this ln contain now a negative sign, we have to convert it into a 
positive sign. So, I will rearrange this equation by I will move this ln a minus ln a term into right side and I will move kt into this side. Okay. What will be the answer? ln a is equal minus kt plus ln a naught. Okay. This is the integral form of first order reactions. Rate law. This is the integral rate law of first order reaction. Okay. Uh, so, we can plot a graph. This is ln a equal y minus k is equal m. Your gradient t is x. This is the intercept c. y equal mx plus c. This plot will be ln a with respect to t this gradient is negative minus k as previous case in 0 order reaction it is negative this intercept is positive it also will form this type of graph because its gradient is negative ok I think you can understand that uh, the integration thing you have to remember these three laws which are very useful to integrate this uh, first order reactions ok I will erase what about the rate what about the rate I forgot to say that uh, in this reaction minus dA divided by dt is equal k a this is the rate law no according to this the rate will with increase with respect to increasing concentrations so if we draw a graph with respect to rate and concentration of reactants you will obtain uh, you will obtain a graph like this it is increasing if we increase concentration by one unit it will be increasing one unit so because it is first order reaction so likewise you have to remember that so if the concentration imagine if the concentration is 1 the rate also increasing by 1 if the concentration I increase by 2 the rate also will be 2 likewise it is increasing gradually like this type of graph we can obtain if, the, if I increase the concentration by 3 rate will be 3 because the order is 1 if I increase the rate uh, concentration by 4 uh, by 4 rate also will be 4 so this order is 1 what about the units of rate constant you have to remember the common equation what is that unit of k is equal molarity 1 minus n t minus 1 here in first order reactions in first order reaction m 1 minus n is now first order it is 1 t minus 1 so here m here positive 1 here negative 1 is 0 t minus 1 this is the units of rate constant of a first order reaction ok now uh, I will uh, discuss about the half life you can remember that initial if initial concentration is a naught after some time it will be half of that initial concentration after some time that time we call t half or half life time 
initial concentration is a naught after some time the concentration will be half of initial concentration so that time spent to be uh, half of initial concentration is known as t half or half life so we will introduce these terms into this integral form so this is a is final concentration here a naught is initial concentration so initial concentration is same however after t equal t half if the uh, this time is t half the final concentration will be a naught divided by 2 we substitute that after when t half ln a final concentration will be a naught divided by 2 it is equal minus k t will be t half plus ln a naught okay now we can simplify now we no need the expression for t half so we will put this k t half term uh, into left side and this part I will move to right side I will rearrange the equation k t half is equal to k t half is equal to ln a naught minus ln a naught divided by 2 ok we got this term now according to log rules you know that uh, ln a minus ln a naught by 2 we can write down that as k t half according to log rules this negative this deduction we can rewrite as a division so ln a naught divided by ln a naught divided by 2 a term will cancel out to this a 2 will be goes as the numerator k t half is equal ln 2 we can rewrite it as like this ok now t half is equal to ln 2 divided by k this is the final equation for the half life of first order reaction what can you say about that we saw that in in zeroth order reaction half life of zeroth order reaction half life was t half is equal to a naught divided by 2k here t half was dependent from a naught if we increase a naught initial concentration t half will be increasing however first order reactions the t half is not affected by the initial concentration ok now you can understand those things also ok that's all about the half life of uh, first life uh, first order reaction so I will move uh, on to second order reaction as our final discussion